My name is Jack Yao from Oracle Consulting. I'm going to show you how to upgrade an on-premise WebLogic app to Oracle Container Engine for Kubernetes with Docker containers and Oracle Autonomous Transaction Processing Database, aka ATP. I'm using the WebLogic out-of-box sample app, Medrack, for the demo. It is a Java Enterprise Edition app with connections to Oracle database. I choose Oracle Kubernetes implementation over others as it better support WebLogic configurations and is fully open sourced, allowing me to add extensions or customize for my workload. As a developer, I like to focus on my app and get it running quickly without having to worry about the database management. So I choose ATP, which is Oracle Enterprise Grade, fully manage the database. All right, next I'm going to show you the upgrade steps. First is to create a container engine for Kubernetes. Next, provision autonomous transaction process database service. Third step is install WebLogic Kubernetes Operator, which is a tool for lifecycle management of the WebLogic service in Kubernetes. Next is install software load balancer. Create a Docker image for WebLogic domain. Deploy domain to OKE cluster. Last step is migrate app data to ATP. Next, I'm going to show you the demo of each steps. For creating the Kubernetes cluster, I switch to the browser and I have already logged into the Oracle infrastructure. Click on the menu, go to develop service. Click on container cluster. I have already have a compartment for the demo. Click on the create button. A create form will pop up. You will provide a name, select the, the latest version, choose the quick create. Customer create is for more advanced users. The shape defines the CPU and the memory. Quantity per subnet means for each subnet, you will how many nodes you are going to create. One means three, two means six. SSH key for access the nodes. Then you click on the create button. I have already created the cluster and there are three nodes. Next is create a ATP. Click on Autonomous Transaction Processing. I'm creating it in the same compartment. Click on the Create button. Pop up the form. Provide the database name, CPU, storage, administrator password, license type and click on the create button. Similarly, I have already created. Next step is to install WebLogic operator, which I'm going to use in the Linux console to do that. First step is to clone the WebLogic operator from GitHub. I created a work directory and I'm going to use the git command to clone it. So this is the command to clone the directory, which I have already did. CD the directory. And under that directory, you're going to run the helm command. This is the command to install the WebLogic operator. Since I already did it, I'm going to skip it.
and the next step is to create the low balance in the same directory. I'm using the voyage, so this is the command to install the voyage. Similarly, I'm not going to run the command. Then after you create both operator, next step is to create the domain. Now create a domain, you first need to run the script under this directory. Under this directory, WebLogic operator provides the sample script to create the domain. And this script will create a output directory which contains the doc file. Since I already run the script, we are going to go to the directory that contains that doc file. So this is a directory script created which contains the doc file. I modified the doc file with the application and the data source. I rendered the quick build, it creates the image. After that, I push the image into the registry for Kubernetes container to use. The next step is to create the domain in the Kubernetes, which we have this uh, created a YAM file, and you just run the Kubernetes CTL to create the domain. So after that, you are going to migrate the data. I use the SQL developer to migrate the data since the sample data is uh, small. For the larger data migration, you need to use the database tool. That's it. With those couple of steps, I'm able to migrate on-premise application to the cloud with the Kubernetes cluster. Next, I'm going to quickly show you the cluster. So these are the parts that contains all the WebLogic operator, load balancer. Then you have the admin server and the two managed server. Next step is I'm going to show you the sample app. Now I'm back to the browser, connect to the sample app I just uh, migrated. And I click on the start. Now I'm going to click on the login. This is the administrator user in the WebLogic. Click on the go. And this email address and the user information is from the database. This concluded the demo.